based on these facts laying staring at us on our faces if we come and claim or one day we not say that we are not evil do you know that it is right to say that we are invaders based on the fact that our progenitors are answering evil names based on the fact that everything about us is evil including our names including our community names our community names based on all the evidence staring at us on our face as a query people based on facts in the area of proximity with our eastern brothers as the query people that we are based on our geographical location our geographical location where we are presently where we are presently is not a Benin land it has nothing absolutely absolutely to do with Benin in terms of distance relativity affinity religion custom tradition language way of dressing way of eating even our marriage way of marrying women our marriage our farming how we trade it has nothing to do with Benin. Our faces have nothing to do with Benin. Benin, their faces usually have marks. They place marks, tribal marks. We do not practice that. We do not place tribal marks as a query people. Based on our tradition, custom, and everything that has proven beyond reasonable doubt that truly a query man is an evil man. Based on these facts, laying, staring at us on our faces, if we come and claim or one day we now say that we are not evil, do you know that it is right to say that we are invaders? Based on the fact that our progenitors are answering evil names, based on the fact that everything about us is evil, including our names, including our community names, our community names from Rumu Krushi, Rumu Ibo, from Rumewa to uh, Rumuji, from Rumuji to Mbubakre, uh, Mbubakre, everywhere, Umakre, Obunabale, call it. All these names are Igbo names. If you now come and say, We are not Igbos. Do you know that other people are going to be right to call us invaders? Are you aware of that? You that is denying your Igbo ancestry. You that is denying your Igbo identity. Do you know that they will be right to call you invaders? Have you also asked yourself a question? Why do this our neighbors, like the Okrika people? Yes, I know very well the Okrika people are Igbos as well. Of course, you know from the history of Africa, you know they are Igbos. <laughs> Just like the Kwere man is denying his own now, that's how the uh, uh, Kwere man completely denied his own. His own was so far, so he aligned himself to uh, enjoy immediately. So now we don't even know if we are going to have to redeem our Kwere brothers. Right now, I don't see that happening because they have accepted completely another ancestry. This is what we are going to stop in the query land. Because our own is so hard, it's not possible. Are you also telling me we want to start changing our names and changing our dialect, changing our Igbo dialects? If we change our Igbo dialects, can we also change the names of our progenitors? Maybe we start changing their names now. Or is it true that this is the reason why we've started changing from Iwurahana to Iwurahana, from Iwurahana to Iwurahana? Is this, is this making sense at all? Is there any way we can run away from our shadow as equal people? Is there any way? Eh? So if you deny your ancestry, seeing all this evidence staring at you, do you know that it is right for someone to say you people are invaders? 
do you know that it is right for anybody to call us that we are invaders? This is why you see them telling us, don't come and temper with this water. African man will come, tell the Puerto man, say, don't tamper with this water. This water is his water. The water at the back of Equerman's backyard. Equerman's water, water ways. That is his own river, the river, ancestral river God gave to him in his own place of dwelling, location. Someone from another place is coming to tell you that this place you should not tamper with the water. <laughs> that this all this water as here belongs to him. When you deny your ancestry, when you deny your evilness, all these things will happen. Other people will begin to call you invaders. You were not here before me. That's what they will tell you. Meanwhile, you are the one that accommodated them. But now they are telling you that you are not here before them. Because they see you now as an invader. Someone who came from another place who is answering that is a Benin. What right is a Benin man in River State? Of what right is a Benin man in River State? Come all the way from Benin and you want to come and claim. Abba, please. I the same thing you are doing, trying to disgrace the Korean people. At all costs, this thing has happened for years. And nobody refuted it. Now it's becoming a norm that we are from Benin. Eh? That we, Korean people, are from Benin. Because nobody objected it. So it now became a norm. And some people are coming up with. See, what is even pending me is that with all the people, all those people coming up that we are not, we are not Igbo, that we are from BD. When you ask them, confront them, come up with logical, you know, superior argument. They have nothing. What do you see them is they will just often ah uh, they have no proof nothing to show you the next thing you hear them say hey, you know what evil people did to us you know so you're talking about that time you're bringing it to this time whatever the shaman man do you what is Ishama? Ishama is not even evil Ishama is a designated tribe in a Igbo state Ishama is not Igbo but then you decided to call Ishama a uh, 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 Southeast people Ishama so why will you call the Ikas you also call them Ishama because they too speak Igbo what will you call the rest of the Igbos anywhere you call all of them Ishama is it not that is not a problem but Accept your own Igbo-ness. Accept your own Igbo identity because you are an Igbo man. You have nothing, no proof, no proof, there, nothing. All the equipment coming up with it, no proof to prove that we are from Benin, no proof. Everything you bring on the table is shallow. And when we come up with superior argu argument like this, you simply offer. Because you know, you know nothing, you have not even traveled, some of you. He said, Benin, I'm from Benin, I'm from Benin. You are not traveling. Go to the Benin land and see. They call you Omo, Omo Ibo. Omo Ibo. That is what they call you, Ikwere Man. Omo Ibo. I stayed there for several years. Well, I kept telling them, I'm not Omo Ibo. I'm your brother now. Nah. I'm your brother. They said, we are from Benin now. Nah. Say, do you look like a Benin? Omo Ibo, leave that to you. You are not Ibo. You are Ibo man. Of course, I do not look like Benin. I do not look, I don't even speak my accent. Everything betrays me whenever I say I'm from Benin. This is why I decided, I said, no, this time around, it's not going to work. We can't deny our ancestry anymore. We are typical Igbo. Anke so akpare hanu. Ove ke, ove me, ove We are Igbos. 